With all the new comedies that come out every year, what do you attribute the success and longevity of shows like Leave It to Beaver? Well, you know, Leave It to Beaver was written always from real life. Those things that happened to the beaver on TV, although they may have been extrapolated and a lot worse than happened to some of the kids, it was always things that were real. And I think the things that really happened in the 50s can still happen today. Um, what are some of the things from the 50s that you'd like to see happen today? Well, I think that the 50s were a very, very happy time. We'd come out of world wars, we'd come out of Korea, and so people were sitting back, they just had television. Before that, you know, when I tell my kids that when I was little, television was very, very new. Now, they just think it's something like water running. You go and you turn the handle, and now you just turn on the TV. But TV was something that, you know, you can get up in the morning and watch the news, watch shows that you like, so it's a whole different world. What would your message be to children um, that have their iPhones in their hand this Christmas season? You know, Christmas is about family. Put the iPhone down, say hello to all your neighbors, wish them either a happy Hanukkah, Quinza, or Merry Christmas, and have a wonderful time. It's a fun time of the year, and then the new year comes. Thank you so much. Have a great holiday.